Let's say first question in the back right along the wall. Jalen, you've, you've talked all year about over here wanting to have the big matchups show that you can lead the way defensively. <laughs> you have the big matchup to start this game with Luca, but you also, on the other end, were able to play within yourself while being aggressive. How difficult is that balance on the biggest stage to have those responsibilities, and how much do you relish that? I think it's a 14 effort. Um, and, you know, Luka Doncic still at 30 and 10, you know, so got to do a better job. Um, but, you know, it's a full team effort. And, you know, tonight I got lucky a few times, but we got to get ready for game two. Hey, when John Corrales, Boston Sports Journal, uh, when you guys lost that lead, you know, it gets down from 29 to 8, what's going through your head? Um, we've, we haven't seen this level of response maybe in the past, but this year you guys have been able to kind of turn that around a little bit. Uh, what goes into that kind of response? That's the game right there. Um, it's going to be, it's not going to be perfect. It's a long series. I expect them game two to come out with tremendous force and maybe try to hit us in the mouth. So, you know, that's the game. You know, when a team goes on a run, you got to you gotta manage it. Um, you got to stay composed. Um, and you got to keep playing basketball. It's almost like you just have short-term memory a little bit like the team's not even on a run. You got to play smart basketball. Um, and you know, make great plays um, to get us on a get our flow back. And I think in that third quarter, you know, I got to the free throw line. I think that helped us get going. And we made some reads. I made kick out to the corner. Al got a three. We was able to get some good offensive going. But uh, getting to that paint, being solid, being composed, was uh, what allowed us to push that lead back out. A player at some point has to deal with an injury and had to go through recovery and rehab to get back onto the court. And, and usually we see a bit of a feeling out process. Well, you know, uh, it's, it's, it takes time to get back to that same level. When did it click for you tonight that Kristaps didn't skip a beat? Yeah, that was it the first or the second quarter. He just went on a run where he just he, he, he hit the three, um, you know, hit the midi, and ran back, got the block at the rim in transition. Um, he was just making play after play, and it was just like, all right, it's, he's, he's back. It was no question about it then, so um, uh, we need some more of that going forward for the rest of this series. The Mondo's from ESPN. Jalen, a couple of years ago, you guys were obviously in the finals. Now you're back two years later. The two biggest differences are having Drew and Chris Stapps here with you guys. How much of an impact did the two of them make tonight? What did they show in terms of the differences they've made to your team over the past year to get you to the position you guys are in? Yeah, two great additions between Chris Stapps and Drew. And any given night, it could be any of us, you know. And uh, Kristaps had a monster game for us. Just his um, presence, shooting the ball, and then be able to uh, attack those switches and mismatches. He he uh, made him pay every time, and that's what we need going forward in the series. Kristaps was big, um, but those other guys, Derek White, Drew Holiday, um, JT, they all can get going at any point in time. So that's the beauty of our team. We just gotta, you know, every game has its own story. We just gotta stay ready, stay composed, and, and take it one game at a time. Jalen, that's good with y'all sports. It looks like from earlier in the playoffs that you guys didn't need Porzingis. You guys got here with a 12-3 record and had a lot of rest. It seems like he completes you guys with the way he protects the realm and plays in the middle of the floor. Do you see it that way, that you guys are a, a complete top-to-bottom team now because he's back? Um, yes. I think Chris Pops has been great for us all season long. I mean, it's a big, a big reason why we've been the best team in basketball, record-wise at least, and having him back, you know, and him playing well to that level he was during the season is so important for us because you got another defender, another shooter um, out there that you have to respect. So that just opens it up for, for everybody else. Now, next game, I'm sure they'll make adjustments. We've got to be able to read it on the fly and then make plays. If the guys got to step up. We need guys like Sam, Peyton to come in and step up, JT. Everybody got to be ready to go. Steve Buckley from The Athletic. Uh, Jay, went back to the eight-point uh, deficit of lead. Joe said something like he, we asked him what he said during that timeout. He said, I talked for 30 seconds. They're, on the, they're talking for two and a half minutes. So I guess what I'm asking is, what did Joe say for 30 seconds, and what did you guys say to each other for two and a half minutes? Um, we just said, just breathe. This is the game is starting now. Just breathe. We're in, this is a moment where you know our experience um, shines through. Just breathe. Just keep playing basketball. If you got a if you got a shot, that's open. Take it with confidence. You know, no turnovers. Take care of the basketball and just play our game. You know, we got to get some stops and make some big shots. 
Um, and, you know, just navigate the run. That was it.